This is for smoothest smoothie. Most protein-packed smoothie. Ooh, tootiest, fruitiest smoothie. Every berry cleared up pretty quickly for that one. Woo! Woo! Wow, Orange, that is a lot of trophies. But not all of them. I've won every trophy at the Splendidly Scrumptious Smoothie Competition except one. Most creative smoothie. Huh, how come? I like structure, rules, goals. Creativity is just making stuff up. How can you win at that? Why are you looking at me like that? Orange needs a crash course in creativity. I mean, if only we knew the perfect berry to help her out. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> oh. uh, you sure about this, Shortcakes? Blueberry's the most creative berry we know. She can totally teach you. Right, Blueberry? The first rule of creativity is... There are no rules! <laughs> Uh-uh. Oh, just give her a chance. Yeah! Give her a chance! <laughs> what are we talking about? Meet the fruit. Feel the fruit. Taste the fruit. No! Be the fruit. None of this makes any sense! Kind of pretty? You're getting it. Orange's creative side. Orange's inner artist could always sing. I just turned up the volume. Ooh, uh, how high did you turn it up? Berries, stop your blending. <laughs> Way to go. Great job. Think. Does his face say, wow, this is so creative? Well... Uh, oh, it tastes like juicy socks. Maybe? It's okay, Orange. Most artists don't get the respect they deserve until they're dead. <clears throat> Before we declare a winner, we have an announcement. The judges decided to create an entirely new category for one of this year's more unique entries. So, the award for Worst Smoothie goes to... Orange Blossom! <gasps> worst Smoothie? Created just for me? This is way better than most creative! My own category! Who's about to be the worst? <laughs> this bear right here! I guess that's the thing about creativity. It's not about being the best. But I am the best at being the worst! <laughs> it's about being you. Exactly. Art is a journey. Eh, just go with it. Sup? <sighs> Lemon, between the crowd and the 75 mini peach trifles, I need to bake for a peach trifle. I'm swamped! Need help? <sighs> what I need is two of me. The moment I've been waiting for. Meet the Cakeinator Six. Oh, wait, the Cakeinator? <laughs> what happened to one through five? Worry about it. I, I don't know, Lemon. Come on. The Cakeinator's programmed to bake the perfect treat. It's just like having two of you. Well, 
Uh, how's it work? Just pop a spark berry in its mouth and tell it what to bake. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am the Cakeinator. <laughs> I need 75 mini peach trifles. 75 mini peach trifles confirmed. Okay, so I usually mix it with my Lucky Spoon, and then I... Lucky Spoon does not compute. Activate mixer fingers. So, after the whole oven fiasco, I was nervous about another lemon invention, but that Cakeinator gets things done. The cakes need 30 minutes to bake. You can't rush perfection. 30 minutes does not compute. Activate repulsor hands. Oh, okay, wow. You baked it in no time. But don't rush leering in the peaches and cream. That takes finesse. Welcome to the extraordinary berry. One apple fritter, please. I'm so sorry, Honeydew Sorbet, but we're sold out of fritters today. Sold out does not compute emergency apple fritter protocol. Well, I guess you don't need me. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take a little break back here. Little break does not compute. Of course it doesn't. What kind of baker am I supposed to be if a robot can do my job? I guess I'm not as special as I thought. We stop, Ellie. My fit is different today. Oh, the Cakeinator didn't add the dash of cinnamon you like. Strawberry, that metal version of you put berries on my pie. And won't give me extra powdered sugar. Sorry, Huck. A new berryless piece coming up. And I've got your powdered sugar right here. Extra ingredient does not compute. Imperfect item does not compute. Our treats don't have to be perfect, Cakeinator. They just need to be made with love. That's the Strawberry Shortcake Touch. Mwah. Strawberry Shortcake Touch does not compute. <laughs> What happened? I told it our treats didn't have to be perfect, that they just needed a little love, and it blew up. Love, huh? That tracks. Lemon, I think it's better if I handle the baking by myself. It's okay. I got another idea. Let me guess, the Cakeinator 7? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Business at the Extraordinary Berry is booming, which is fantastic. Just one teeny tiny problem. Oh, my teeny tiny oven. I can't bake fast enough to keep every berry happy, which is a good problem. But still, it is a problem. My cranberry jam says every problem has a solution. I don't know anything about fixing ovens, but I know some berry who does. So, Lemon, what do you think? You came to the right berry. I'll give you an oven like no berry has ever seen before. Uh, nothing crazy. A little bigger. Maybe a second oven rack? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oven rack. Got it. Okay, let me know if you need any. And you're gone. I'm gonna turn that oven into a baking feast. This oven is not messing around. I guess I can work with this. With six burners, I can finally make every color of that rainbow fudge pad a shoe I wanted to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lemon, let's see what your oven can do. Lemon. 
Lemon really came through for me. I was afraid she'd get carried away and cause some kind of disaster. But I guess I should have trusted her. No, never mind. There it is. Um, Lemon, <laughs> maybe the oven is a little too powerful, I don't know. What do you mean? This is great! <laughs> Huh. Maybe I can turn it down. A little. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh? What's uh-oh? Right. Fudge turned out great. Uh... I'll make a few adjustments. Smaller? Mm, yeah, smaller. Less explosive. Duh. Less explosive. And pink. Pink? Oh, come on. Okay. Pink. Introducing the Berry Berry Oven. Now this oven says strawberry shortcake. Uh, I adjusted the spark berry intake so the oven won't go kablooey. Still pretty powerful, though. Even if it is. Ugh, pink. Thank you, Lemon. Uh, little battle, I'm never gonna blend batter with this old mixer. Mixer, huh? I can take a look. What mixer? Oh, what? Did you say mixer? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna stir this the old-fashioned way. Yep, no more inventions needed here. <laughs> Snowberry. Turkey roasting? Check. You, uh, you sure your mom is okay with you not going home for the holiday? Oh, yeah. I told her how excited I was to experience my first fairy bounty banquet in Big Apple City. A small, delicious celebration. Uh, uh Aunt Praline? Um... Do we have any extra space for the banquet? Uh, how much space are we talking about? Oh, just my friends and also their entire families. Did you invite their entire family, Strawberry? Well... I want every berry there. Me familia es tu familia. Maybe... There's not enough space. There's not enough time. There's not enough food. It's impossible. Did you just say impossible? Yes! There is no way we can do this. I'll just, I'll text them. I'll tell them I made a mistake and ruined every berry's, you know, time. Impossible is what the women in our family are all about. Impossible's my jam. We've got our work cut out for us. When things go wrong, then we adjust. If it's tough, don't get stressed. That's when we're at our best. And if your world feels like it's crashing down, Turn it back around, we'll turn it back around. If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. If it knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. Turn it all around, all around, and get back up. If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up, 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 up. you get back up. Might seem impossible, but trust me, we're unstoppable. The two of us won't ever fall. Get out of our way. Together we are number one. Turn problems into something fun. Before you know it, we'll be done. We're saving the day. Don't ever think that you're going under. We never give up. Very show them that thunder. And if your world feels like it's crashing down. Turn it back around, turn it back around.
Wow, we really are. Amazing, fabulous, shockingly efficient. Yeah, we really are. Not to mention lucky. <laughs> You were saying? Settling in at the very works. Still a little nervous. Nervous? Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, would, what would make you think that? Well, you've moved those same bowls back and forth ten times. I've been here like a minute. Oh. Pre-baking nerves run in the family. Fortunately, I knew just what she needed. Here, this should help. A gift? Woo! And Praline, you didn't have to get me a... <coughs> a dusty old... Spoon. Huh. Thanks. This is, uh... What baker doesn't need an extra spoon? Hmm? Huh? No berry. No berry has a spoon like this one. It's been passed down in our family from baker to baker, berry to berry. It's special. Lucky. And it'll be your most prized appliance <laughs> once you get the hang of it. Ha! <laughs> get the hang of it. It's a spoon. Let's begin. Fairy, I did think the spoon was kind of weird at first, but holding it makes me feel like generations of bakers have my back while I bake. Check it out. This spoon has definitely upped my game. Mm, mm. Yes, I can hear them now. The family is definitely proud. And now that I've mastered the ways of the spoon, I feel like I can handle whatever the berry works throws at me. Oh, mastered. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, come on. I mean, what else could there possibly be to... Teach me to... Uh -huh. That's enough for today, young Barry. It takes a lifetime to truly master the spoon. 